The sun is almost gone. It's almost down over the horizon there. Hey guys, evening in the swamp. As you can see, the sun is going down. So Gage and I thought, well, we got an hour and a half left till dark. Let's take a bit of a hike back here and see if we hear or see anything out of the ordinary. Last night Tom and I had a fire and we heard the fox screaming and the coyotes howling. So everything seemed to be out in the swamp last night. Of course all of that starts after dark. So tonight I've brought the AX700 camcorder. The little bigger sensor in there for a low light and much better autofocus. Sun's going down at the end of the trail here. It's kind of pretty. Mr. Gage hasn't been out all day, so he is full of energy. He's just, just ripping around. The one feature that I don't like about this camcorder is uh, it's I think it's like a 30 millimeter uh, range uh, minimum focal distance and the other camcorder is 24 so I've got to hold my arm out a little further and again being a heavier camera that's not fun. Told you guys he was full of energy. So behind me I can hear a raven. But I can also hear maybe the very last guy Rob at the end of the road, a half mile down there, I can hear dogs freaking out. I'm pretty sure it's dogs, not coyotes, because that's where his house is, is down there somewhere. He kind of lives, uh, the last quarter mile of road goes in behind on its own and he's down there by himself. I think we need to start using this camcorder a little bit more. The, the quality of autofocus alone is, is worth it. I, I kind of, uh, I haven't been using it because I bought it and it's a little more expensive and the other one does a good enough job that I've been.
So because this is my good camcorder, I don't use it as much because I paid a little bit more for it. And um, the other one does a, a good enough job that I've kind of been saving this one, but the quality, the image quality, I can just see on the screen. With the one inch sensor, you know, it's just got more detail. Would that make a difference if we were filming something running across the swamp? Probably not because both cameras are 4K. Both have night mode. Um, the one problem with this one I noticed because it does shoot a lot higher frame rates as well, um, that it really sucks the battery power. I do have the ability also to touch and track focus with this camera. I believe it's on the other one, but it never works. It won't stay locked on anything. Let me just, there, I'll touch my face. It was already focused on my face. Now it's focusing up there on my hat. <laughs> so I don't know if it's any better or not. Ooh. Ooh. There's a smell. <clears throat> oh, look at I was too slow, but I'm standing here sniffing. And Gage was standing over there sniffing. It's like a sulfurous, swampy something. Whew. I saw Gage's nose go in there and then he took off. Oh, oh, full shiver down my back. Okay, I'm gonna to try to fight that feeling and just, nope, I don't wanna feel it. Let's just see what happens. You know, once that happens and you think about it, is that why it keeps happening? Jesus Christ. Oh, the biggest friggin' raven I have ever seen in my life just took off out of that tree. Oh, full body shiver again. Oh yeah, waves. It was like I knew I was being watched. I did not, I don't know where that came from. And that scared the frick out of me when it took off. Is that why? Is that why I got that? Because I had, because I was being watched by that thing? Oh my God. Ninky, ninky, ninky. There is something to that. What's going on? That dog is still freaking out down there. I was gonna say there is something to that. I subconsciously knew that that thing was there watching me because I, I could just feel it. I was like looking around going, why do I have that shiver? What is watching me right now? That 
feeling was very real and it was in this case proven by something physical which we saw take off you know when I'm getting that feeling and it's paranormal and we can't see what's there you know is there any difference I don't know but I'm telling you right there that substantiated like the feeling of I'm being watched shivers down my back and then that thing takes off so subconsciously I knew something was watching me that's the only way I can sum that up The sun is almost gone. It's almost down over the horizon there. What the f... What the f*** was that? And that's behind me on the trail to get home. Full body shiver, I'm not even joking. What the was that? We passed that to get here to this point. That was back towards my house. Now I just want to get out of here. I just want to freaking run, guys. I'm not even joking. Like, we're at the creepy corner right now. I'm not going any further. I don't even want to go back here. I'm going to flip the camera around. That was not far down this freaking trail behind us. Whatever the hell that was. I swear. I thought I heard an owl earlier. That kind of had a bit of an owl sound to it, but no. Why is that dog freaking out and that dog isn't? All right, I'm tempted to do it. I'm gonna play back what I heard and see what was recorded. Probably gonna freak myself out because we're like way back here in the swamp. I gotta hear that again. Whatever the hell that was, I gotta hear that again. I'm sure it's on here. It might not be loud enough without me editing it, but I gotta play that back. I can hear something on there, but not very good on the camcorder. I, I'm sure it was captured. That dog is no longer freaking out over there. I'm getting out of here. I 
I have no idea what that was. No fox, that was no coyote. Guys, that was literally seven minutes ago and my heart is still racing. Between that and the raven, like I am freaked out right now. This is the night you should be out here investigating and I have nobody to do it with me and I'm not doing it alone. I hate to friggin' say that. Ah, oh, I don't. God. I swear, if, the, if we have ever been close to anything around here. I just heard a knock. I completely forgot. Completely forgot we smelt something on the trail back there guys. Oh my god my freaking hair and the just thinking about it I'm like we heard something we smelt something Raven I was just gonna say if I had to guess where on the trail, it would have been somewhere right here in this area. No more than 300 yards behind us, like. I just heard that dog bark once more. Okay, back behind my house, almost in my yard. I, I'm trying to portray to you guys the absolute freaking terror when that thing screamed between me and the house and I'm like, I have no other way to get home. Honest to God, I didn't know what to do. At that particular time, I'm like, do I just hunker down right here and with my back against a tree and wait? Honest to God, I was that freaking, unsure about going back up the trail at that point in time, but I'm limited by the sun going down, so I knew I had to move. So I'm just trying to rationalize and explain to you guys why I don't want to be going back out there like that freaking scared the crap out of me. Catch you guys in the next adventure, which might be later tonight, I don't know. Okay, so I've got my big flashlight tucked into my pants. This is like a million gigawatts. I'm not gonna use that one. Oh. I'm not gonna use that one. Just gotta get it tucked back in there. What we're gonna use is this. The infrared. Okay, so I'm gonna flip you guys around. And we'll see how bright this thing is. Should be. Plenty of light, but if I need a real flashlight, I've got that and I've got my little one and I've got my phone. You guys know how things have a tendency to run out of power out here. I don't want to take that chance. Let's do this. Geese. I got a bad feeling about this, guys. I honestly, honest to God. I just heard something. I'm gonna turn the camera around.
I'm kind of freaking myself out here, guys. The geese scared me, and then I swear I heard a stick break. And there goes that dog again. I swear to God. I can hear something walking back there. Where I can hear something moving in there, hear something moving in there, hear something moving in there, hear something moving in there. Right there. But now there's so many geese. I don't like this, guys. I'm not gonna lie guys, I think I'm too chicken to do this without Tom or somebody here. I'm only 400 yards from the house right now, so... If something were to yell or run out in front of me right now, I think I would run in blind terror. So I think it's just better for me to... Get the hell out of the woods. What? Who was I kidding? What was I... Nope. Nope, I can't do it. We're out of here. <laughs>